Okay, follow along on your scratch paper with the Go Math video. Okay, so I got my sunglasses. I got that. Oh, hi! I'm just getting ready for a trip that I'm about to take to Flynn County, which is a really beautiful, beautiful place. But actually, it reminds me of a math riddle that involves Flynn County and actually involves rectangles and their areas. Why don't we check it out together before I leave for my trip? So, Flynn County is a rectangle measuring 9 miles by 12 miles. Now, Gibson County is a rectangle with an area six times the area of Flynn County and having a length of 16 miles. Here's the challenge for us. What is the width of Gibson County? Interesting question. Well, first of all, let me just kind of show you these basic things here. And I made a little table here. So first of all, here are the counties that we're looking at. We've got these two counties. We've got the Flynn County and Gibson County. Now, they're both rectangular in shape. So here's a little sketch of how they look. So you see here, uh, Flynn County, we see is uh, 9 miles by 12 miles. And Gibson County is, well, we don't know, in fact, what the width of Gibson County is, but we know that the length of Gibson County is 16 miles. So this is kind of roughly how they look. Now, we know something else that's really interesting. We know that the area of Gibson County is, in fact, six times the area of Flynn County, which means that we actually have, in fact, what's called a multiplier. Now, there's no multiplier for Flynn County because Flynn County, its area is itself. But the area for Gibson County is actually six times the answer for Flynn County. Now, that's really helpful because we can find the area of Flynn County. In fact, that's not hard at all, right? We know exactly how to do that. To find the area, all we do is we know that area equals length times width. And so what's the length? Well, the length is 12, and the width is 9. So we have 12 times 9, which works out to be, in fact, 108. And the units, of course, are miles squared. So. Now, knowing that that's the area of Flynn County, and we know that Gibson County has an area six times the area of Flynn County, that means we can find the area of Gibson County by just taking six times the area we just found for Flynn County. That's what it means to have an area six times as large as this area. So all we have to do now is take this number and multiply it by six. And if we work that out, we see, in fact, that it is uh, 648 miles squared. OK, so now that's the information we have. What's the question? The question is, what's the width of Gibson County? Now notice that in this information, we actually did have to figure out the area of Flynn County, but that's not so hard now. And then we had to multiply that area by 6 in order to find out the larger area of the Gibson County. But we did that. So now all this information is ours to use. But we want to find out the, the width. How can we possibly do that? Well, again, remember that the area of a rectangle, we know it, we love it. It's length times width. And what do we know? Well, what we know now is that for Gibson County, we know that the length equals 16, and the width is what's a mystery. But we know the area. So we have that the area is 648. And as we've seen before, if we know two of these puzzle pieces, then that will automatically give us the third puzzle piece. We just have to put them into this formula. So if I now put them into this formula, let's take a look at how it would look. So what I see now is 648 is equal to the length, which is 16, times the width, which is the mystery, w. So now I have an equation to solve for w. Well, this is great, because what is the 16 doing to the w? Well, the 16 is actually, in fact, multiplying the w. So if I want to do the, undo the multiplication of 16, I would just divide by 16. Well, that's all well and good, but if I'm going to keep this equation fair and balanced, I better, in fact, divide by 16 on the left as well. Now. On the uh, right-hand side, I can simplify those 16s. And so I'm just left with 
W on the right. And then on the left, what am I left with? Well, 648 divided by 16, which is 40 and a half. And I've just figured out what the width is. The width is 40 and a half. And of course, the units here are still miles. Miles, miles, miles squared. It's always good to keep track of one's units, always. OK, and so now we see that we have the answer. We see that the answer is, in fact, that the width of Gibson County is, in fact, 40 and a half miles. And by the way, I want to point out something really important here. This little teeny sketch that we made, notice that, in fact, if you look at it carefully, the width, in fact, we see is exactly 40 and a half. The length we saw was 16. So notice this is not drawn to scale. If you really want to draw this to scale, it might look something much more dramatic. It might look something like this, something more like this. Right, where this that width is 40 and a half, and that's just 16. But the important thing to realize is that the math is what's important, the actual numbers and the equations. These are just little teeny pictures to, as guideposts to kind of inspire us. But it's OK if the picture is not always perfectly accurate or drawn to scale, as long as we know it's a rectangle. The important thing of this was it's a rectangle. So it's got a base, and it's got, um, uh, it's got a length and it's got a width, and that's all that matters. Um, so just don't be ever thrown off unless we are told that it's drawn to scale. If it says this is drawn to scale, then we know something might not be, not, might not be perfect. But in this case, we weren't told at all. This was just a little sketch, and so here's a better sketch. But the bottom line is the math will always reveal the truth. Math will always reveal the truth. And the wonderful thing about looking at geometry is that we can measure all sorts of things. And if you know that one rectangle has six times the area of another rectangle, then in fact, that's information which you can now use to figure out, in this case, the width of that large rectangle. Have fun thinking about the math in your life. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.